So, I, I shared a little bit of story of the long range from um, the uh, first forms of collective intelligence to the most recent one, the holomidal, the newborn, just first baby steps of holomidal collective intelligence. And I think we all live in this transition. How do I become a holomidal person in a holomidal structure? How do I activate my true being and my true self, my authentic self, not just when sitting in a you know, in a meditation, but also when I engage with people in everyday life when, goes, when things go fast. How do we make a society out of that? How do we get rid of the old social DNA that keeps playing inside us? Because you see, spiritual traditions have done a great deal of work for individual evolution. How to, you know, get rid of uh, or control my thoughts, how to improve my breathing, how do I, go, do I go into other and wider states of consciousness? But spiritual traditions have not done so much of that work of the we in the I. They haven't done much work on ontology. They haven't done much work on technologies like money. They haven't done much work on many other topics that I shared of the collective that lives inside the I. And so one of the most important things I'd like to share here, I wanted to share, came into this story of the collective into the eye. And it comes, I, can, uh, I think I can break it to three questions that you may take back with you and that we can discuss together. The first question, in Oroville, what level of holopticism do you have? That means, as Orovillians, what sense of the whole do you have other than the subjective sense? I talk also about the objective sense. That means, think of a sports team. As a player, you always know real time what the team does, what happens on the field. How much do you know of it for Oroville? What could you create as practices and technologies to improve Holopticism, because the more holopticism you have, the more you will do. You will know what to do as an individual. The more you know what to do, the more it feeds the holoptical view. Okay, it works both ways as mirrors between the individual and the we, between the I and the we. Holopticism. So, first question. The second question, again and again. How much of the old social code, the old social DNA, still plays in Oroville and keeps Oroville down to the ground, to the old? If you still use conventional money, for instance, conventional money works well for pyramidal. It concentrates. It has built-in scarcity. Perfect for pyramids. Perfect for a concentration of wealth. Absolutely the best technology for pyramidal collective intelligence the most poisonous technology for holomidal. But holomidal as a baby still needs to play by the old ecosystem. So what could we explore to get rid of the old social DNA like money, like old forms of language that keep us trapped into separation, all forms of food, all forms of social codes, for instance, in Oroville's meetings, in all the circles and committees, and what, how could you not play anymore with the old conventional social codes? I've, questioned, I've asked questions to many people uh, involved at some level in Oroville decision makings or circles on such and such question and so on. And I usually hear the same thing. I hear that in most cases, I haven't listened to everything, of course, but in most cases, conversations still play by and with the same old social codes. Well, same DNA, same tree, same being, same collective being, you know? So, what about questioning those things and asking, what if we design the social architecture in a different way? We have different ways to speak, different ways to engage conversations, use the right technologies, and so leave the old social DNA. And the last of the three idea, I shared it, how important, the importance of it, really. The body, the body, the body, the body. Have it really, how can we have 
wisdom descend in the body so that the most vital responses we have you know built in with our reptilian brain they don't take over each time we feel a threat each time we feel that our vital structure will get some challenge from uh, from outside what kind of practice does it take every day why do we still hide our bodies for instance why do we still have a combination of judeo christian tamil indian whatever pyramidal collective intelligence that separates the body with the rest that hides it that makes also uh, sexuality something tough and not divine okay so the body for me comes also as one of the third you know very very important point to to share so thank you very much and uh if we want to have uh, questions and uh, feedback or thoughts um, well let's go into this this space to so really invest our, our space together thank you